Well, the countdown is on to move all CPD officers out of the District 5 headquarters building. Some officials claim without proof that the D5 building is linked to several officers getting cancer. Nottinger Science Brianna Malloy reports Council Member Charlie Winburn says he has a new plan to pay for the big move. December 31st, that was the date Police Chief Elliot Isaac promised to move his employees out of District 5. The press conference held here today was all about turning that promise into a reality. The relocation of District 5 to College Hill. The relocation of District 5 to College Hill. The relocation of District 5 to College Hill. And this is the place where it should have been in the first place. Councilmember Charlie Winburn proposed new legislation that would help fund a $17 million police station at the former Talbert House in College Hill. This is an opportunity for us really to improve the quality of life for all the citizens of Cincinnati and put uh, priority safety number one. Winburn said $10 million is already allocated for the building. The additional $7 million would come from restructuring city debt. It's not going to raise taxes because if it did, I, I probably could not support it. Daniel Hills with the Fraternity Order of Police used to work in District 5. Well, the current building is uh, about a quarter of the size of what it needed to be, and, and it was not designed to be a police district. He says whether or not the building has caused the officers who live there to have cancer, it still needs to be replaced. We need to move anyway because the place is, is just not capable of, of, of sustaining a, a district operations that way. It's been fudged for 60 years. The officers will temporarily meet in this building beginning in January. They're one step closer to having a new building, but there's still a long way to go. Council's got to put up a shut up. They've been, they've been talking about District 5. We've got to get the officers out. We've got to get the staff out. Here's their opportunity to put up or shut up. So everything today is hinging on the Budget and Finance Committee. The committee is only one vote away from passing the ordinance. If it passes today, it will then go for a full vote on Wednesday. If it passes there, a new District 5 could be standing here in as early as 12 months. Brianna Malloy, not on your side. Brianna, thank you. Right now, 